So, well, thank you, thank you, Judy and Trian. And, and um, now, there's a friend of um, a friend of John's, Doug Jenner, who is on the other side of the world and wasn't able to make it. Um, however, he has written a poem uh, which he would like to be read. And uh, fortunately, his brother Peter Jenner yeah, is here to uh, to read it for you. Um, so, put you, your hands together and welcome Peter Jenner. Thank you. Well, Doug and uh, John were both into three things cricket, music, and uh, beer. And so, Doug sent me this poem via the internet the other day and asked me if I could read it. It's called The One to Leave. The schooners of Cupid and the golden afternoon before us. A glow with beer and banter. Dengate and I share the cric chair cricket yarns and evidence in broken fingers. In Barry Mind's eye, I picture the wiry John heading Kokoda with the Aussie mil militiamen, blocking wooden answers to questions fired down 22 yards, organised for survival and sure of the ball to leave. Now in the pub, when he's free and flow, timing strokes, punching lines onto the comic sweet spot, middling them warlike to the boundary fence. He's not just the life and soul, he's a whole party in one man, and he sets the room aglow. Even so, even then, he knows whether to play or whether to let it go. Sometimes, many schooners on adrift in poetry and song, you think quite suddenly, like that bird that sits on the water and instantly isn't there, He's gone. Then quick, like the diving bird, he's back. In his, in his beak a rhyme, a limerick, a new spun funny line, and along with warmth and humour that you feel, and also a sense of discipline as strong as Kembler's steel, came news that he was gone. So Conrad's lion... Sorry, Mr. Lion. Today across the continents came the news that he was gone. So comrades, line those schooners up. Australia, toast your son for the gifts and the heart of Dengate that make the Cayley roar. Sing loud for one of our valiant men that we shall never see more. And then in quiet moments, opening our hearts to grieve. Let us remember how much of his genius was in knowing the one to leave. 